Hi, it's Brian. Welcome to the Awards Contender. I'm very excited to welcome back Andrew Campbell today to talk about one of my favorite movie franchises and how all four of these movies did at the Oscars, the Toy Story films. How are we doing, Andrew? I'm doing great. I love Toy Story, so I'm very excited to talk about this. I was a huge Toy Story kid. I think also with my name being Andrew and Andy being the main character, I think that may have been like a thing. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, I'm super hyped. Yeah, so I am winding down my 1999 Rewind series. There's just Toy Story 2, which we're going to talk about in this video, and Magnolia coming your way in December. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to not just talk about Toy Story 2 in this video, talk about all four of the movies. Each of the four Toy Story films got in at the Oscars, and I'm excited to talk about the Academy Awards journey for these movies. So I am old enough to have seen the first Toy Story in theaters. That came out in November of 95. You were one? I was one, yes. <laughs> November 95? Yes, I just, I had one in a few months. <laughs> so, like, I was there, Andrew, at the perfect age. I had just turned 11. And seeing the first feature-length computer animated movie in a theater was a total thrill. Like, oh. we had never seen anything like that before. I'm not even sure I had seen any of the Pixar shorts at that time. It was just so mind-blowing. And what just amazes me all these decades later is how great of a movie Toy Story is. Still, like, there have been so many Pixar feature films since 95. I still think the first Toy Story is one of their best movies. Toy Story, just, it is. Like, it just has this nostalgic feel uh, throughout, you know, the generations. And it's just, it's just, it's so wonderful. I think it's also just the, the idea of like, what if our toys really do come to life and we're not like paying attention? <laughs> I think that's just a fun thing to do. That's, a, that's just a fun concept as well. So uh, yeah, I just, I love them. So Toy Story 1, Andrew, did get into the Oscars. We don't have best animated feature yet. Like, that category arrives, I think, in early 2002, uh, where Monsters, Inc. gets in, and Shrek was the first winner. Pixar did not win the first time around. Uh, Monsters, Inc. lost to Shrek. So, for the first two Toy Story movies, we don't have animated feature yet. So, it's like, okay, well, where can these two films get in? I still think, to this day, Toy Story would have been a great nominee in Best Picture. I mean, you have Apollo 13, that's a great film. You have Babe, which gets in, another kind of kids movie. Like, I don't know, have you seen Babe? I think Toy Story would have been a better nomination in Best Picture than Babe. Yeah, I, I watched Babe as a kid and I've not watched it since, which just shows how much of an impression it had on me. <laughs> but uh, the first Toy Story movie got into three competitive categories. It did not win in any of them. Come on. Uh, the big one it got into was Best Original Screenplay. You don't see animated movies get into screenplay very often. It's only happened a handful of times. But Toy Story made it in. There are so many names in this lineup. <laughs> it's like eight people, Andrew. That always <laughs> makes me laugh. And it's like eight screenwriters. It's like you know that one of those eight people probably didn't contribute very much. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll never know. So in Best Original Screenplay, we had Bravehearts, Mighty Aphrodite, Nixon, Toy Story. The winner was The Usual Suspects. Like, you can't get any difference from Toy Story than The Usual Suspects, which is like an R-rated movie with, like, it's not really geared to younger audiences at yeah. all. It's not one of my favorite films, but it does have a very unique screenplay. Like, it really stood out that year. Kevin Spacey won Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars for that film. And so that win makes sense here. I don't think Toy Story was ever going to win. Just that it got in, I think, is the win. That's really cool. The other two competitive nominations are for Randy Newman in Music, he was nominated for Best Original Song, You've Got a Friend in Me, and Original Musical or Comedy Score. I am really surprised, Andrew, that he couldn't win Best Original Song for You've Got a Friend in Me, but that was also the year of Pocahontas. 
and that one Colors uh, of the Wind. Colors of the Wind winning makes a lot of sense because that is probably one of the best Disney songs of all time. I, I love that song and the animation during that sequence is, is so beautiful. I, I can picture my head right now. Um, so yeah, it makes sense. So those were the three competitive nominations for Toy Story. It did not win, but Toy Story 1 did take a special prize that night, Andrew. They don't really do this anymore, especially in the main ceremony, uh, but the Academy gave John Lasseter a special achievement award for Toy Story for the development and inspired application of techniques that have made possible the first feature-length computer animated film. And there was a segment there, he got to make a speech and everything during the main show. And then Toy Story 2 arrives in 1999. This is a part of the 99 Rewind series. It's the 25th anniversary, Andrew, of Toy Story 2. One of my favorite animated movies of all time. What do we think of Toy Story 2? I, I, I love that movie. I think it's so fun. It's hilarious. The, the script is hilarious. The dialogue, all the characters are so... You just love everyone in the entire movie. Yeah, Toy Story 2 is kind of a miracle of a movie. Did you know, Andrew, that they were working on Toy Story 2 and really far into, like, development? I think they had started, like, animating, like, working on it. Uh, Lasseter and company came in and said, this is not good enough. We need to start over. But I think it was Lasseter and some others who were like, no, 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 no. We're not going to cheapen these characters. Like, let's make a great sequel. And that's what they did. Uh, funnily enough, at the Golden Globes, Andrew, Toy Story 2 was nominated for Best Picture, Musical, or Comedy, and it won! Oh! I didn't know that. <laughs> That's awesome! Which, it's not on YouTube. I would love to watch that segment, because that's kind of unexpected, I would say. That Especially is... for 99. You'd think, okay, well, it won that. Maybe it could get into Best Picture at the Oscars. But, like, a sequel... For that year, like that just wasn't going to happen. As we talked about Andrew in our video about Tarzan a few months ago, the only nomination at the Oscars for Toy Story 2 was in Best Original Song. The nominees were Blame Canada in South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Music of My Heart in Music of the Heart, Save Me in Magnolia, When She Loved Me in Toy Story 2, the winner was You'll Be In My Heart from Tarzan. As I said in that video a few months ago, my votes would have gone to When She Loved Me in Toy Story 2. I still feel that way, although You'll Be In My Heart is also a great song. I, I know you might hate me for it. <laughs> I think I do. I might give You'll Be In My Heart the Oscar for this one. Just because I do. God, that song is incredible. Let's say... You'll Be My Heart was not in the category, then yeah, give it to uh, When She Loved Me, because that song is beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it so, so much. Yeah, I love that Toy Story 2 song. It's one of my favorite scenes in the whole franchise. Sarah McLaughlin was just the perfect person to sing that. And ugh, every time I watch Toy Story 2, I'm like, oh God, we're getting to that scene. Oh God. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's like, I know it's coming <laughs> and I know I'm going to just be gone again. Like every time I watch it, I, I get choked up. It's so great. I'm so happy it at least got nominated here. That would have been devastating if Toy Story 2 had not been nominated for anything. Oh, that yeah. wouldn't have felt right. And then years go by, Andrew, we get lots of Pixar movies like Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo. And then when they finally announced Toy Story 3, I was like, let's go. Like, like this is going to be fantastic. I mean, especially at the end of that run of, like, Ratatouille, Wall-E, Up. I mean, these incredible films. Like, they were having a run there. So you knew Toy Story 3 was going to be special. I was not prepared for how special. I was not prepared for how monumentally great that film was going to be. 2010 is a great year for movies, Andrew. You have Black Swan. You have The Social Network. You have so many great films. My choice for the best movie of the year is Toy Story 3. Still to this day. I adore that film. When a sequel comes out, you're really nervous about how it's going to be. Uh, and I was unbelievably blown away by how perfect of a movie that it is. 
Toy Story 3 is my favorite of the entire franchise. It really is a perfect ending to that nice trilogy that they had. I know, I know the fourth one. I count them very differently, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, should have I mean, stayed a trilogy. It Spoiler alert! It should have stayed a trilogy. <laughs> I totally agree. I was just so struck by the ambition of Toy Story Three. Like, we're really gonna go there, put them in significant peril. And then it's like, after that incinerator sequence where like, you're catching your breath. It's like, it's too much. Then we get that ending, which it's just so moving. It's so perfect. So obviously Toy Story 3 was going to get into the Oscars. Now we have the best animated feature category. I remember walking out of Toy Story 3, it was June of 2010. I said, well, that's winning, best animated feature. There's like, there's no competition. Like we knew that in June, uh, but I was very happy to see it get five Oscar nominations, Andrew. That's the most of any of the four films. Toy Story 3 got into best picture, which is fantastic. One of very few animated films to achieve that honor. The nominees for Best Picture that year were Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, 127 Hours, The Social Network, Toy Story 3, True Grits, Winter's Bone. The winner was The King's Speech, which is fine. But boy, what a lineup of movies that is. Holy cow. That is one of the best lineups in picture we have ever had at the Oscars, I think. As one might expect, Andrew, it did win Best Animated Feature, which is awesome. So the nominees in Best Animated Feature that year, there's only three. I think they knew, like, well, Toy Story 3 is winning this. Like, do we even need to nominate anything else? <laughs> but right. the other two nominees were How to Train Your Dragon and The Illusionist. I do think How to Train Your Dragon in a different year might have won this. Like, if that had come out in 2011 but nothing could beat Toy Story 3 that was always taking best animated feature. For me, it's like, I think any other film, like or animated film that year, I think they all knew and they were probably all okay with it. Cause like Toy Story 3 is just, it's so incredible. Are you ready for the most random Oscar nomination of the entire Toy Story franchise, <laughs> Andrew? Toy Story 3 was nominated at the Oscars for Best Sound Editing. <laughs> you don't see animated movies get into sound very much. So that's kind of inspired in a way that there was enough love for the movie that it like was recognized by the sound branch. That's really cool. And although Toy Story 2 could not get into Best Adapted Screenplay at the Oscars, Toy Story 3 did make it in there, Andrew, as it deserved. <laughs> so the one other category Toy Story 3 got into at the Academy Awards was Best Original Song. The nominees that year were Coming Home in Country Strong, I See the Lights in Tangled, If I Rise in 127 Hours, The Winner. The one time thus far a Toy Story film has won Best Original Song that went to We Belong Together, Toy Story 3, Music and Lyric by Randy Newman. All right, Andrew, that takes us finally to Toy Story 4, which arrived nine years later. It came out, I saw it opening weekend. It's a good movie. There's a lot to admire about Toy Story 4. I did get choked up at the end, like the very end, like the hug with Buzz Lightyear, like there's some great stuff in that movie, but compared to the other three, I don't think Toy Story 4 is at their level. I, I don't even put Toy Story 4 in the same like category with them. Like I feel like the first three are, are you know, are a trilogy. Overall, I mean, I did enjoy Toy Story 4. I found it very funny. The animation is stunning. It's so beautiful. And I do give it, points and props for the idea of like Woody having a difficult time letting go of Andy. Toy Story 4 is not nearly as good as the other ones, um, but I still very much enjoyed it. Like I still thought it was an excellent movie and I, I really liked it. I just, I would give the first three Toy Story films a 10 out of 10 and I would give Toy Story 4 a 7. <laughs> a <laughs> like seven. It's, it's fine. 
You know, it's okay. like, it's not bad. It just, it's not at the level I think of the other three. So I was surprised, Andrew, when Toy Story 4 won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature. That surprised me. The nominees that year were How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, I Lost My Body, Klaus, Missing Link. The winner is Toy Story 4. I think what happened there was that there wasn't a clear second place movie. There wasn't one other animated film in 2019 that everybody could really rally around. There wasn't a Wild Robots, <laughs> you know, in 2019. Like something non-Pixar that everybody loved. So I think that's why Toy Story 4 takes this. Everyone's looking at their ballot and they're like, eh, Toy Story 4, that was nice. Check. <laughs> you know? I feel like Toy Story 3 should win animated feature at the Oscars. Toy Story 4 should just get a nomination. Give it to something else. Because I feel like if you're just looking over Oscar data, you're like, oh, Toy Story 4 is then probably as good as Toy Story 3. And that is not the case. Had there been, you know, maybe like a Moana that came out, if Moana came out that year, of course, it would right. have triumphed over Toy Story uh, 4. I think pretty much, yeah, they're just like, Toy Story 4 wasn't bad. Like, yeah, like it, it's, it, it's a fun movie, but yeah, let's just, I, it definitely was just like the pick of the draw wasn't that great. So yeah, Toy Story 4 didn't need to win the Oscar for Animated Feature, but that's fine, I guess. Tom Hanks was at the front of the audience. He was nominated that night in Best Supporting Actor. And so like we get to cut to him and see him smile as the Toy Story 4 group comes on the stage. That was kind of fun. Uh, and one other Oscar nomination for Toy Story 4, Andrew, that I had forgotten. I didn't even like know this happened. And before we started recording, I had to listen to this song because I did not remember this song in the film. But Toy Story 4 also got into Best Original Song. I can't let you throw yourself away from Toy Story 4. I don't remember a song Toy Story 4. I've only seen it twice, and that's enough for me. Of all these movies, uh, When She Loved Me is still the one that has the biggest impact when I think of all these movies. I mean, You Got a Friend of Me is great. I love that song. I mean, it's iconic, but... When She Loved Me was just, it was a moment. And the other songs didn't really create any of that. Now, Andrew, if you had to pick your favorite Oscar nomination or Oscar win for the entire franchise, what's your favorite nomination or win for the Toy Story movies? My favorite nomination for Toy Story movies is Toy Story 3 nomination for Best Picture, I think is just incredible. I, That's mine too. So well deserved. <laughs> I think... I honestly wish, if it had one best picture, I would have been completely okay with that. I think it deserves it. I mean, all those movies deserve it, but I think, yeah, I think it, it's wonderful and it's completely well-deserved. Yeah, I love most of these nominations and wins for the Toy Story franchise, but Toy Story 3, getting into best picture, that is an all-timer for one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Toy Story films at the Oscars. And I'll see you next time at the Awards Contender.